Hello everyone, my name is Zay Red, and welcome back to more of Kamen Rider Memory of Heroes. There we're going to continue pretty much where we left off. And now time for us to transform. We're on the search for Mazul so we can get Eye back. Before we do that... Okay, got you. And you. Alright, now then. You know, I wonder if um, new, I haven't tried out New Game Plus mode yet. I wonder if you can actually dive into other waters and find, like, secret blueprints or anything like that. Because that actually be kind of like a cool use of that feature, because I'm not entirely sure. Also, I do have to admit, I kind of find it funny now that since... Because I know I mentioned the last part, because I is out, so Zero One is taking over. And I find that to be kind of cool. And thus the cavalry has arrived. Everyone, this is Bert's first secondary rider. No, no, this is the second one. This is common rider birth. This is um proto birth. There are two different births. There is um. For the first half of the series, there's a guy named Dante. In the second half of the series, there's another birth. The second birth was actually the first one to appear. He was just working for, he was working as a police officer, I believe, and helped out O's a lot during the beginning of the show whenever he could. In my opinion, he really did earn the right to become birth and deserve, and deserve to be birth. But don't get me wrong, Dante does too. It's just that it's hard for me to judge which one of these is better. A common writer developed used by the Kogami Foundation by tr transforming using cell metals into a variety of forms. His special weapons are the rapid fire birth buster. It just makes him sound like a weird cut I mean version of Mega Man. The claws unit center wing allows him to fly. R1 to fire, X to fly. It'll and when it's depleted to zero, you'll be done. To the send while flying, push X, and to send while flying, push that. Wait, what did it say? Push the circle button. And here we go, birthday. One of my least favorite final forms in all of Common Rider. Fun fact, you only see this thing one time within the actual show. Burst's most powerful form, allow him to use all of Claw's units, so long as EX powers remain. When to use Transform into birthday... Yeah. Transform into birthday until EX power runs out. All moves can be used without using rider power. Or I want to use the breast cannon. Yes, that is the actual name of it. And with that, we will unlock the first birth. Who is a lot of fun to play as, but it's just that all the other riders have better abilities, in my opinion. Alright, let's go. Oh yeah, I also do like how there's a big difference between the way he does and how Dante does it. With him, it's just him stomping. Dante just body slams. Okay, it's one of those cool little chains I like to differentiate the two because one of them is a lot more of a silly character and the other one is a lot more serious. In fact, one of my favorite moments in Kamen Rider O's, along with most of the show, is when you see the Birth Riders fight together. Because they're the ones that take down Mezzel and Gamel. Because when it comes to their final kill, I know that the Birth Riders take down those two. Dr. Maki takes down Kazari, and he uses Uva to create a black hole at the end of the show. 
and technically Ankh committed suicide by to, in order to help Edgy. Okay, I didn't get hit once that time. I really should have quipped something to him. I didn't know. I don't know why I didn't think of that. You know what the funniest thing in this game is? Like, every single monster you've seen, for the most part, I do believe, besides the ones that are specifically for, like, the villain organization in this game, are ones that actually did at least appear in, um... At least ones that did appear in the show, as far as I can remember. Okay, I'm so close to it. Soon I'll get birthday. Now, again, not one of my favorite forms, but I just like it. That plus, I do believe a form can be good if it actually does go to some good character. And thankfully, and thankfully, with that form is attached to the birth. It's attached to um, Dante. I'm, let's see here now. In fact, let's show this thing off. And by this is Common Rider birthday. Look at the giant mess that is this form. Okay, let's go ahead and use everything. That didn't do much, but that was because of that was because of me being an idiot. I fly in victory. Ah. Oh yeah, that's another thing I forgot to mention. Cause you saw earlier the cell metals. Cell metals are what power birth. The co which ironically does, which sadly makes them weaker than O's because the core metals are the most are the powerful metals. Cell metals are what he uses. So to be fair, kind of like Uva at once pointed out that if you use those cell metals correctly, you can become strong too. Actually, just hit me. Oz has the Ratorata. Should he have been able to catch up regardless? Like seriously, I know I'm harping on this a little bit, but Oz should have been able to catch up immediately. He's got Ratorata. The only form he's missing right now is Tajador, which ironically would have helped out too. All right, now then. Okay, now we've got made that interesting. Come on, use up all my rider power. I do like how when I do that with Shata, it turn it technically turns Hino Echi into Crash Bandicoot. Oh god, I don't have the Taka Bird near me this time. Oh wait, no, yeah, I do. I can see it.
Hey, you know what? No. <laughs> I love that weapon. Okay, let's see now. You know, I, I enjoy getting these things, but I feel like in this case is a waste of time because Mezzo's getting further away from you. It's not like she's it's not like she was on some like legitimate rubber band AI to where you if you stop moving, she'll stop moving. I'm not gonna try to pull butcher that one. Let's see. It increases my HP defense, but it destroys my rider power. Well, it weakens my rider power, so no. Okay, I might do a second playthrough this one day where I do use all those skills and everything like that. Alright. You know what? Let's go. Let's just do this. Oh, well, you're next then. Again, I kind of wish this was in here because after I played them, um, I haven't played much of um, Batch Hard Word um, 2, but from the little bit I've played because I had the premium sound edition. I really do enjoy that one just because of the fact of the matter being that whenever you do transform it does actually play power to terror. Which is one of my favorite things just because of the fact that I love the writer connected to it. I must say, is he still in this? Oh god, I forgot about you actually. <laughs> that never gets sold. How appropriate. Okay, let's go. Rugged. Who hit me? Oh well, he's dead now, so it doesn't matter. Wow, I got. Hey, guess what? I now have a long range option. I no longer have to touch you. As long as I don't get close enough to you. <laughs> and I have leveled up once again. Okay, so let's see here. Again, I just leave. I'm gonna start getting everyone up to level eight. And I'm gonna worry more about enemy codes than I am levels after that point. And that's only because after you get to that point, enemy codes are what you're really going to need. God, I am. I feel bad because that that is nothing but the definition of favoritism.
Oh, also, I find it funny because while recording this, and I was going to be recording yesterday, but due to certain issues, I couldn't. This is, um, I'm recording it on Sunday. This Sunday is actually the start of the 50th anniversary of Kamen Rider. They even had like this one really cool um, anniversary thing showing up where it was the 50th anniversary logo, and then the, it was in the same coloring as they did the um, the 20th Heisei anniversary, and it was beautiful because it had the it had the um, faces, the eyes of all the different common writers on there, and it was a really simple and beautiful thing. Also, funny enough, we're getting an X8 movie again. Proof that X8 and Guy will never die. Are you kidding me? I could never escape Kamen Riders. I do like how Shotaro just immediately went, did not even respond back. Okay, I'm at level 9 with those. Yeah, I'm probably going to take a little bit of a break from him too. Because while I love him, I need to level up at least, I need to level up double in zero one. one Hey, fun fact here, um, this room actually looks like the one where you, um, this looks like the practice room in this game. Oops, sorry if you just heard that. But yeah, this room looks exactly like the practice, uh, practice room. You know something else I do kind of realize? I wish you got to play as Ankh. Just to see how he would play. Because there's a bunch of things I wish this game had there. The ability to play as Ankh, the ability to play as Philip in Cyclone Cyclone. Because remember, that's a movie and manga form. Or novel form in this case. Speaking of which, I find this hilarious that while I recorded this, a Kamen Rider double anime was announced on Funimation.com. Which made me just immediately want to go, yes, I need that in my life. <laughs> Wow, I don't know who's more delayed of a reaction, me or him. I do like how it's an all-screen attack, because... That actually does make sense, because when O's uses it in the show the very few times that he does, the entire world separates, and everything except for the monster goes back to normal. It's one of the coolest little things I've in the series. <laughs> when he know Edgy's had enough of you. <laughs> but yeah, I will switch out. Oh, that's right. He's not with us right now, so we can't play as him. I wonder how long is it going to take for him to actually get to us? I mean, to be fair, that actually does make sense for Zero One to have. Because, again, not just because of the whole grasshopper thing, but just because of the fact of the matter being the jump to the sky turns to a rider kick. I love that. Okay, I need to find someone to take. I think O's has what I need. Edgy, I'm taking your stuff. It's 
So none in this case. No, because again, the the series highlights just how terrible of a comedian Arata is. All right, let's go ahead and go. Lee Falcon. I gotta turn the volume down because I I love hearing the second part as much as I do the first. A cluster. The speed down is high quality. <laughs> I also like the time. I also do like whenever he used this um transformation when he's. I mean, during the whole Thouser stuff. And with that, we are now level six, which I need to actually start leveling him up. Because again, for the most part, I'm mostly focusing on these three. In case you're wondering why, who's on the box? Come on, Ankh, I am. Okay, you know what the funny thing is? While, while that's not the voice actor, I at least like how they did at least get the mannerisms locked down. Assault Hopper! I find it funny because all this does, in my opinion, just shows just how much how fun it is to be the newest writer. In some cases, especially whenever the game was made this late into your series, because you have people like Zero One, and then you have um, yeah, why not? I can earn some extra points with you. I was using this one time because I know it's only this first fight where they do that. Oh wait, no, this is the room that you do in challenge room. Alright, who's next? Oh crap, I had a chance to get it. Come on. Hit me with your best shot. Come on. Uh oh, it's time to move. Come on. Thank you. Wow, I almost leveled you up. Too bad I'm going to switch back out of you immediately. Because ironically, Joker form kind of becomes useless at this point because you will have Philip for the rest of the game after that point. At least I don't think there's a time when you're not going to have Philip with you. All right, let's see if I can should have known better. Whoa.
What are these? Okay, I'm confused. Which one does let me do first? Okay. What did I get this time? Million. I'm not even going to try to butcher that. Okay, so attack, defense, and right power go up. I'm going to save you for the final boss if I can. Because I'm going to need it. Yeah, the first time through the, the boss wiped the floor with me. No, look at it this way. That's a nice way of saying what he did to me. He basically saw me with like... Oh, punch bag. All right, now that we got that out of the way. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> I don't care how old I get, that is still one of the coolest things ever. Actually, um, you know what? I'm going to end it right here just to be safe. So, I'll see you all next time. This has been Zayred, and take care. I know I just butchered that horribly now I normally say it, but I have no excuse. I just did, and I apologize.